Hello and <laughs> welcome back, my friend. Thank you for your responses to my last uh, sharing. Uh, I really want to thank you for watching and I believe that you'll be blessed even today as we go into the rest of the message of acceptance. So we saw that whoever has rejected us or even if we feel so much condemned in ourselves, but when we put our trust in Christ, we come to God. God is not going to tell you that you're rejected, but he's going to tell you that you are accepted. So we were talking about the story of the young man in Luke chapter 15 who had lost everything, who didn't have food, but then he comes back to the father and the father saw him at a long distance. And it's so amazing that the father was moved with compassion. So the father saw him at a distance means the father was waiting for him to come back. In other words, the father is always, the heavenly father is always waiting to accept you. He will never reject you. He is waiting to accept you. How much we need that acceptance. How much we need that approval. So many times we try to gain approval from men and we just go all the extent to do things just to please people. Not even thinking that it's going to hurt us. It's not going to be, it's not right sometimes. God doesn't want you to do that. The most important thing is to be accepted by God himself. So here this father looks at him from a distance, then he is moved with compassion. In other words, acceptance was flowing like a river <laughs> towards the son. And, and then the father runs. Now this guy would have just, this young man would have just walked so slowly because, you know, he has lost everything. He's coming back home. But the father ran. And then he says, uh, Jesus says that the father uh, embraced him. Doesn't, you know, he didn't even consider that dirt that he had in his dress, how dirty he was. And he kissed him. He didn't even consider how, how he smelt like he was with a swine, with the pigs. Amazing. The way how God accepts you, I tell you, nobody can accept you. Maybe people who have rejected you, your own people, your relatives, your friends, your, your family, people in your office, in your workplace. They have told you how bad you are, but I am here to tell you, God wants to tell you today that he accepts you. He didn't care about the smell. He didn't care about the dirt. He didn't care about what the son had lost. But the father just accepted. And then we find uh, in verse 21 of Luke 15, the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. In other words, the son was confessing his sin. Yes, we need to tell that we are not right, we have done wrong to God. But, but then the son also said, I am no longer worthy to be called as your son. In other words, he knew that he cannot be accepted. His conscience told him, you will not be accepted. You cannot be accepted. You've done this. You've done that. You're wrong. You're so wrong. But you know what? God is bigger than our conscience. God is bigger than the guilt that you carry. God is bigger than anything that has told you that you're worthless, that you're nobody, that you're nothing, that you're trash. No. You know, before the son could ever proceed telling one more thing, what was the one more thing he wanted to say? He had planned to tell the father, uh, take me as one of your servants. But the father didn't allow him to tell that word. The father just stopped him there. Enough is enough. You've come back, you've confessed. Your sin or your fault, your failing is not bigger than my acceptance, than my grace. My grace is bigger, greater, mightier than all 
your failings. Then we find that the father said to his servants, in verse 22, Luke 15, bring forth the best robe, number one, the best robe. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Not some robe, some dress. No, no, the best in the house. And put it on him. Put a ring on his hand, shoes on his feet. Now, everything that he was doing, the father he was, he was just telling the son with everything that he said. When he said, bring the best robe, he was telling, son, you are accepted. When he said, put a ring in his hand, he was telling his son, you are accepted. Put shoes in his feet, he was telling his son, you are accepted. Acceptance was flowing like a mighty river, like a mighty flood and filling the heart, the broken heart, the empty heart of that young man. Then he said, bring the fatted calf, not some calf, the special calf which was meant for the best time, the best celebration. Kill it and let us eat and be merry. What does being merry mean? Let's have music in this house. So through all these things, everything that the father was telling, he was saying, son, you are special. I have accepted you. You are special. I have accepted you. And today God is telling you, you are special. I have accepted you. And you know what? Everything that this young man had lost, the father gave him back because he was accepted. You might ask, oh, he had lost everything and th that would have been, you know, the rest would have belonged to the, the elder son. It's not the father, not uh, just by giving elder son's portion to this younger son. No, no, no. I believe that there were three portions. There were three parts. One was for the father, one was for the eldest son, then for the younger son. So when the younger son took it and went and lost it, when he came back and he was accepted by the father, the father gave his own share to the younger son. God is perfect. As for God, he is perfect in all his ways. But the best thing is verse 24. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Amazing. You know, he did not say, oh, he was dead and he came back to life. No, no, this my son. Even when he was dead, he was still the father's son, but he was dead. But the father said, he was dead. My son was dead and he's now back to life. My son was lost. He has been found. In other words, God has a heart which is just craving to bless you with his acceptance. All you need to do is just receive. Just tell him today, Father, I receive your acceptance. I believe I put my faith in Christ and I receive the river of love. As you receive that river, you will never be defeated in your heart, in your mind, in your emotions, in your life. Nobody can keep you down because whosoever the sun sets free. It's free indeed. God bless you. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome life. Celebrate the freedom that you've received through God's love. God bless you. See you again. Bye-bye.